right here, we're given four conditions a graph has to satisfy. Uh, and we have to come up with a graph. Now this answer, this question doesn't have a unique answer. You, you, you can have pretty similarly looking graphs that are all valid answers. They, they, all, they, they just have to satisfy these conditions. <coughs> I guess uh, the first one I want to work with is these because uh, that's just vertical, uh, horizontal asymptotes. So, so the, the limit of the function when x is sent to infinity or negative infinity, if that gives you a well-defined value, that means it's a horizontal asymptote. So you have a horizontal asymptote at y equals to zero and y equal to negative 5. So y equal to 0 is one horizontal asymptote. And let's say this is negative 5. And y equals to negative 5 is another horizontal asymptote. And then uh, 1 comma 7 is a point it has to pass. So let's say here's 1. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's say this point is 1, 7. So I need the, the graph to pass through this point. And it has to be a relative maximum. So it has to be something like this. Okay. Locally, it, it should be a maximum. Uh, the x-intercept should be negative 1. So here is negative 1. You have to pass through this point. <coughs> And then it has to be concave up on negative infinity to negative 1, and 3 and afterwards. Let's think about the concavity later. Okay. So let's first try to come up with the graph that's going to pass through this point and that point, and that has uh, asymptote negative 5 as you go left, because negative infinity as you go left. And as you go right, it should be getting closer and closer to zero. Okay, one of the, the wrong things that you're taught uh, to believe in calculus, pre-calculus, is that uh, some of you were taught that you cannot pass through asymptotes. Um, and that's wrong. Uh, if you have a rational function, polynomial over, over polynomial, in that case, you're not allowed to pass through the vertical asymptotes, but uh, it is possible to go through horizontal asymptotes. And uh, if you have, if you allow for piecewise functions, then uh, it is possible to have something on the vertical asymptote. Okay. So um, you might you might feel a little uneasy, uh, but because you have a point that this graph has to pass through. And this is right on the horizontal asymptote, but uh, that's just some wrong idea that you are uh, given to believe. Okay, so let's just connect these. So I, I need to pass through uh, these two should be connected, and then as you go left, it has to get closer and closer to negative five, and then as you go right, and it has to get closer and closer to seven. Now this. This blue line that I drew actually satisfies everything except number three. We didn't really consider the cavity, but otherwise, this really is the only relative extreme of one comma seven. It also happens to be the absolute absolute minimum, uh, absolute maximum, right? So this is both an absolute maximum and relative maximum, and it does satisfy these uh, limits. It passes through negative one. So the only thing that it doesn't satisfy is number three. Let's think about how we manage to do that. Okay. Now, concave up on negative infinity to negative one means it has to be <coughs> curved as if something is pushing from above. So this is OK. That's, that's perfectly good. So it has to get closer and closer to negative five. Now, from Negative one to three, you have to think about something 
I mean, you have to think about the, the, this graph being curved as if something is pushing from <coughs> below. So it's like bulging because something is pushing from below. And uh, in that case, it should be curved like this. And then afterwards, it has to be curving like that again because it's pushing from above. From three to infinity, it's going to take off. And it just con connect it smoothly, and that should be the answer. This satisfies number three along with everything else.